into Pat Foley. Playing the other way, Pat, that's it, good man. Now you're interested in it in right. Coming across to Gary Kirby. Good ball to Sean Carey. Satisfied with a point? Yes, no. Went to the left and wide. And <laughs> Sean Carey even checked with the referee, but uh, no way, says the ref. And that's the way it's going to remain. 110 to 10 points. Michael Deedy with the puck out. Can Glenmore survive? Well, we just reached the halfway mark in this second half of this All Ireland Cup final. Seamus Kirby. And this powerful looking forward machine of Patrick Swell. Seem at the moment to be dithering and dathering in this second half. And Glenmore would be happy to keep him around the centre of the field. Kieran Carey with a long ball, a magnificent ball. That is a great point by Kieran Carey. He won a minor championship medal in 84 and he was only 14 years of age. Can he win an All-Ireland club? Again, two points between the sides. And referee is halting proceedings while substitute Michael Phelan is coming on. Another Michael Phelan. Just to confuse me, I suppose, they're bringing him on. But Michael Phelan is on. It's Foxy Phelan, as they call him. So Michael Phelan goes on and John Flynn is off. A man who played with Ratnur, a native of indeed Ratnur, County Wexford, who played here a few years ago in an All Ireland Cup final against Kilroy and McDonough. Seamus Dollar trying to get it past Pat Barron. David Punch pulling on it. Barron intercepts. Back there is Eamon Kelleher. Paul Foley. Paul Foley's brother, Pat, of course, is missing this match today. He's out in Germany, and his brother at the moment is very much in trouble. This is Seamus Dollard. Dollard over the bar. The super sub from Glen, Glen Moore puts it up on the scoreboard. And now, once again, we have that goal separating the sides. Well, the first half started brilliantly, but certainly proceedings in terms of skill, not exactly the best hurling in the world. For passion and heart, these two clubs are certainly playing it out. Anthony Carmody. So dominant in the opening 15-20 minutes. Dennis Mullally gone back to left half back instead of Des Ennett. A long ball up towards Christie. Ball breaks inside for Joe Murphy. And back out the field it comes. Kieran Carey, Sean Carey underneath it. Just getting the stick in there, that's all it takes. Comes to Ray Heffernan. Up towards Christie again. Eamon Kelleher to his brother John Heffernan. He's through, he must. Oh! Oh, they didn't win pick any football championship medals like that, I can tell you. And poor John is broken hearted. Just watch this again. The break came inside to John Heffernan. He got inside the challenge of Eamon Kelleher. And there was an opportunity totally wasted. Phil Bennis coming on, making a switch on the team. A man who in 1954 won another 14 championship medal. 65 led Patrick's Well to their first championship. And now manager of the side here today. And Patrick's Well introducing Dominic Punch, who is the captain's brother instead of uh, Eamon Kelleher. So the family is dominated, whether it's the Heffernans of Glenmore or the Punches, Harveys, Bennesses of Patrick's Well. Ray Heffernan. John Heffernan again. Despite Dominic Punch, has just broken his hurling. Back outside there is Pat Carey trying to help out a besieged defence. And he finds touch right here in front of us. Liam Walsh. Going to take this line ball as Pat Carey looks on. John Heffernan again towards Seamus Dollard. And Dollard from a difficult angle sends it to the right and wide. A good player, Seamus Dollard. He may be a substitute, but he certainly has played well at right half forward. And it means now that Glenmore have a total of 11 wides. To Patrick's well, nine. So who will regret it? 
Let me just tell you, we're just 11 minutes short of the final whistle. And referee indicating that there was foul there and gives the throw ball. Michael Phelan without a hurley, thanks to Kieran Carey. It really is a goal that Patrick Sweller are looking for. Gary Kirby. Leonard Enright has gone inside. Superb catch by Enright. Can he get a hurley to it? Comes to Sean Foley. Foley trying to get it in. But for Glenmore defence. One, two, three, five of them there. Great play by Glenmore. You have to hand it to them. They're minding their goalposts as if their lives depended on it. And the Kilkenny crowd standing to their feet here now. Inspired by this hard-hitting, passionate hurling that Glenmore are providing. Philip Foley trying to get it out. David Punch in there as well. Foley gets the hurley to it and finds touch at the far side. And every time Patrick Swell come forward, Kilkenny heart and determination equally matches it. Quickly taken line ball. Comes to Pat Barron and that's over the bar. Good intelligent play by Ray Heffernan and Patrick Swell at the moment are a little bit rattled. The supporters a little bit subdued at the moment. Nine minutes left in the match. Kieran Carey, can he do something to pull this one out of the fire? I'm sure that Patrick's well, that spell in that first half where they passed the ball from one end of the field to the other, but failed to raise a flag, could well be a crucial period in this All-Ireland final. One that indeed the Patrick's well may well regret as Pat Foley sends it high, and it's a good one. It brings Glenmore back to just three points. He scored a point against St. Gabriel's in the All-Ireland Club semi-final, and he's done it again today. Break comes to Ray Heffernan. Barrett, good call. Dominic Punch, Paul Foley trying to get it up. This is John Heffernan to the substitute. Great save by Joe Murphy. Great save. But Michael Phelan, Foxy, <laughs> they're having nightmares about that because that really should have been put through. As long as Glenmore keep it down this side of the field, Joe Murphy will have continuous worries as Ray Heffernan takes the sideline puck. Beautiful ball! And that's gone out for a 65. That was a marvellous cut by Ray Heffernan. As we have seven minutes left in this match, as fullback Paul Foley down injured and that came about as a result of a sideline puck taken by Ray Hefferton it was a good ball which appeared to come back off the post and in doing so Paul Foley seemed to hit the deck as well Paul who made his debut for the Limerick Senior Hurling Team a few weeks ago in the National Hurling League against Cork is a player that is certainly developing a fine reputation within Limerick to be a major loss if he had to go off for Patrick Swell. PJ O'Grady, the PRO there with Patrick Swell substitutes. They look a little bit dejected at the moment. Ray Heffernan with the 65 as the players look on. Now, referee telling Ray to hit the sitter. That's exactly what he's done. He puts it over the bar. Ray Heffernan has now got five points in this All-Ireland Club final out of a scoreline of 113 to Patrick's well, 12 points. This 
is Nigel, his brother, looking for a little bit of help. The Kilkenny heart again evident. As they take one man, it takes two or three of them to go after him. This is Dennis Mullally. Good hurler, no matter whether he's playing at wing-back or wing-forward. Same as Dollar, just taking his eye off it. Kieran Carey comes in quickly to gather possession. And Patrick Swell still dependent on his slow build-up. This is brother Nigel. Falling outside is Leonard Enright, going for goal. Blocked, right on the line there by Glenmore. And they relieve the pressure. John Heffernan, Dominic Punch, trying to get the better of, of John Heffernan, but not easily as another brother comes in, Ray. Sweeping them all up to this side. Christy Heffernan, and Paul Foley, and Heffernan gathers it. Paul Foley doing well. Gets it down for Sean Carey. Trying to get past Des Heffernan. Not easy. And the fluency of the Patrick's well play, very disjointed now. As they try and build up an attack, which at the moment doesn't look like penetrating. There's still four minutes left. And four points between the sides. Good ball by Anthony Carmody, brought down by the Carey boys. But once again, it's Glenmore that come out. Michael Phelan, Tish, they call him in Glenmore. Tish ran into trouble there. Ray Heffern in his foul, you see, comes to help out his colleague. The Heffernans playing a prominent role in this Glenmore side. Christie is underneath it. As Glenmore go in pursuit of another score, just kept off the line there. And Patrick's well, Joe Murphy, put in an almighty hurry. To be honest with you, if I was a Patrick's well man, I wouldn't blame him either. Because time is ticking away. Just three minutes left. And four points between the sides. Dennis Mullally is there, Seamus Kirby, but good work by Mullally. They're sticking their hurley in, they're going down on the ball. They're just depriving Patrick's well of possession. And that's all that Glenmore have to do now. Michael Phelan. And Nigel Carey. Nigel calling his brother Kieran to go in with Ray Heffernan. No questions asked here. agreeing with the decision but uh, every second as the referee looks at his watch counts now we're into the final two minutes virtually no stoppages in this All-Ireland final played in a great sporting fashion as the Glenmore chant echoes around Croke Park it's a mighty ball by Ray Evan and Joe Murphy doing well Anthony Carmody with Willie O'Connor fouled by the Kilkenny man as we now go in under two minutes left can the boys from the well produce the goods in the final seconds great play indeed from Glenmore cornerback Eddie O'Connor comes across to Christy Heffernan matched there by Pat Carey uh, beautiful stuff by the Patrick Swell centre half back. Down towards Leonard Enright. Pat Barron trying to keep it in. Kieran Carey is there. This is Sean Carey. And eventually the referee decides that the Patrick Swell man was fouled. And another opportunity now for the well. Uh, my stopwatch here, just about 40 seconds left in normal time. And really, I think it will be St. Patrick that will have to come to Patrick's well help at this stage because they're four points down and Gary Kirby must surely go for a goal. And he drives it wide. And I think at this stage the Glenmore celebrations will begin in Croke Park. George Lalahi 